Hey y'all, we are now watching Full Metal Alchemist episode 8. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, sorry. In the last episode we saw, they're going to a secret lab and they're about to get attacked and it ended on a cliffhanger. So now we're going to find out the results of that. This lab that should not exist or that it was blocked off, covered by a guard. Mm. And then we saw Scar get taken out commission, possibly, by Evil Lady and Gluttony. Anyways, let's get started. I love how they show wind by drawing the wheat moving in the back. I always like think a, that like about ocean. that too. It'd be funny if he broke his arm again and he has to go back there like every five episodes. Ed and Al sneaked into the supposedly abandoned fifth laboratory. Supposedly abandoned. <laughs> Even the narrator isn't convinced. <laughs> Music is always very, uh, someone on point. Hmm. I'm going to cut you up nice and neat. Does he also has no body? I can't tell. Oh. Oh. You found the... Oh. But you sure figured out a lot just from looking at a transmutation circle. <laughs> His face. face. My name is number 48. And believe me, I'm not sure how. One more prisoners. Mm. When this boy kicks your ass. <laughs> You're an alchemist, are you? Oh, my sword can pierce steel as well as flesh. Oh. Yeah, it makes me sick to think there's more than one idiot in the world who came up with the brilliant idea of bonding a disembodied soul to a suit of armor. Hmm. Oh. 48 is the number I was assigned when I was on death row. Back when I still had a living body, I was better known as Slicer. So let him here? Yes. I have a blood seal. Oh, so see? Right here. Lieutenant Colonel Hughes, do you think this could wait? I'm at work. Oh, what a coincidence. I'm oh at work, too. <laughs> I work. All the paperwork. But all of them are so decomposed that it's been difficult to identify them. Oh. He hasn't been sighted anywhere in the East. Many people here think it's most likely that he's dead. But? But a couple of his men have taken over now. <laughs> We've been played! I thought it was suspiciously quiet in here. Major Armstrong's gonna take his shirt off again and yell at us some more. <laughs> Let's go, Sergeant. Where? Where else do you think, Brosh? To the fifth laboratory. Yeah, they knew they were going there. It's less prone to rusting, but it's not as strong, so don't try anything crazy. I have to find a way to end this quickly. Okay, thought about the details yeah. that when we told him. So he was listening. <laughs> <laughs> He's more insulted by the little. Is this companion of yours strong? He isn't as strong as I am, though. <laughs> he knows I will take care of him. We've been sparring partners a long time, and I've still never beaten him. <laughs> <laughs> You're empty. There's a bit of a story behind that. It all starts with a man by the name of Barry. Okay. Uh, okay. Once upon so he took to the streets and began cutting up people instead, night after night. Barry was caught, but not before twenty three three victims had fallen prey to him and his knife. That's uh, so exactly twenty three crosses. He's standing in front of your very eyes. I am the infamous serial killer, Barry the Chopper. Ah! That's why he's got that knife. Yeah. Sorry, I've never heard of you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you at least be a little scared? Be going, ah! Or what happened to your body? Or something? Ah! What happened to your body, free? Oh, you had me startled there. Okay, I'm not a criminal. Huh? Then what happened to you? Are you sure that you're not a puppet created and controlled by your so-called brother? Oh, make him down. My name was Alphonse Elric. <laughs> How can you be so She's messing with him. And who's to say those memories aren't made up? Oh, wow. Silly boy. You were never alive wow. to begin with. It's as simple as that. He's just messing with them. Trust me. <laughs> this area's off limits. Don't move. <gasps> oh. Did you see? As long as I know that, it's all I need to prove to myself that I've always been me. <laughs> oh, that's so fucked. Yes. Go out. Do it now. Watch. Oh, smart. I'm not beaten yet. Yeah. No. His crimes were really done by a pair of brothers. An independent head and body? That's a dirty trick. No, no. <laughs> I've lost too much blood. I'm starting to feel dizzy. Ah. Uh. 
Oh. Oh. You reminded me of someone I don't like, and now I've done exactly what he did. Yeah. So you're not gonna tell me you're really three brothers, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up and destroy us. I'm not a murderer. With bodies like these, are we really even people? Well, who's thinking about us? Yeah. Brother. Yeah. You've got a blood seal too, right? Destroy it. If you die, you were a real boy all along, just like you want to believe. Yes. And now that we're in these pseudo bodies, we'll be treated like humans for the first time. <laughs> Don't you see the irony? <laughs> I'll tell you who made the Philosopher's Stone and ordered us to guard this place. <laughs> brother! Brother! Do you understand me? You could have messed up the entire plan! Oh. What? So come on! Technical difficulties. Ah! No. If not for that, you wouldn't be getting off so easily. Why is he just killing them? Remember, we allowed you to live. So maybe they need him. Poking around this place again, it's too dangerous. Blow it up. Mm. Were you ever even a real person to begin with? Man, this is like a self-doubt thing. Mm. Stay right there. Or the next one puts a hole in your head. Rest in peace, Slicer and his brother. I guess. So, yeah. I know what this means. Time to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> going if I were you. It. <laughs> he's actually kind of hilarious. <laughs> the way he's. <laughs> oh. There you are. I bought a little present for you. He's a precious resource. But who are you? Oh, so they need him. Oh, be... Wow. There goes the building. Oh. The freezer. Oh, not the freezer. The uh, other guy that the freezer was talking to in the first episode. Oh, yeah. Jeez, who's oh. this? You can't tell if he's crying or upset or whatever. Wow. Interesting episode. Got some random serial killer messing with his head. Yep. We only just met, but I'm going to like give you all these ideas that you're not a real person at yeah. all. Gary was kind of funny though, <laughs> in Barry? some way. They call him Gary. Barry, sorry. <laughs> Barry the the butcher. Barry the chopper. Okay, that was a fun episode. It's so funny that he was trying to uh, shock yeah. Al when he was the one who ended up being completely taken aback by what he saw. So the bad guys need Edward alive. Well, they literally said it out loud, "We're going to spare him mm. because we need him later." And, so and they don't like Scar. Obviously, so that means the story addressed that. Why would they not kill him if he's interfering with their plans? Yeah, exactly. So because they've killed everyone else, <laughs> they've killed the priest, they've killed those two, uh, including Scar, uh, bodiless guards <laughs> that we know yeah. of. Yeah, Scar's not dead. I don't think he is. No, for That's sure. That's too simple. So yeah, the slicer was about to tell them what they were doing with the lab. So that means the evil lady and her brother. Or yeah, who is behind it? They're working at the lab. For once, somebody saw him and treated him as an equal, and then suddenly it gets yeah. destroyed like that. That actually seemed kind of painful when his, when yeah. he, his brother was getting that was, stabbed. That was just... So they actually do feel pain through that anyway. Jeez. Very sadistic people yeah, enjoying are. that. I bet Armstrong is punching himself now, like, why did I leave those two in charge? He's stripping and then yelling at himself through mm -hmm. the mirror or something. <laughs> <laughs> why did I leave those two boys there? <laughs> <laughs> kind of hysterical. It's like it's like a classic story in a way where they're like figuring out stuff slowly. Yeah. Yeah. Really neat. It is. And so obviously the Philosopher's Stone is has a role in whatever they're planning, mm. which is to destroy the state. I assume destroy the state, destroy the central, destroy. Uh, yeah. Right. So alchemists can rule or whatever. I don't know. That's my random guess. Well, like Scar wants to eliminate all of them. Alchemists too. Yeah. Mm. I feel like he might ally with Ed or be that's... like a honorable foe. In some way. Ah, uh, a friend yeah. of me. Yep. And <laughs> the then, enemy of my enemy is my friend, ally, or something. Yep. And then there's the guy in the first first episode that we just saw. He's mm. going to definitely play a role as another bad guy. Maybe a third party or a fourth party. How many parties are there? <laughs> <laughs> Fun episode, yeah. Yeah, the, this was. Uh, good music. The, the fighting was neat. Uh, obviously, Edward needs to get his arm sorted out, so he has to go back to Winry again. Every other episode, he goes back there, fixes it. Goes to another place, breaks it, goes back to Winry. <laughs> can he just deploy with us, Winry? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's just can gonna be his leave, new plan. Live nearby. <laughs> just, just be in the city so I can get it fixed. But he might be able to fix it right there. I think that's what's gonna happen because it's not totally shattered. It's just hanging loose. So he might be just repair himself. Malfunction. Yeah. So obviously Al is gonna be now doubting himself and probably mm. and Edward will probably make it worse since he's a brother. Yeah, that's how siblings handle it. 
they do it horribly <laughs> sometimes. No comment. <laughs> but I feel like there's going to be some sort of storyline where uh, Al's going to down himself. Yeah, all because of that freaking butcher man. Yeah, just random yeah. buried the, the chopper. And he ran off by himself, so he's, he's going like, to play He's like, if I were you, I'd get out of here. <laughs> he's like, like that. He's like, he's like, ironically, was saving him. Like, get out of here. You, know? you, <laughs> exactly. should, you should just leave right now. It's not a bad I idea. I would leave if I were you. <laughs> and now he's going around again. Good at butcher freak. people. Yeah. A fun episode. Yeah, I think that was great. Yeah. So I guess next one's episode nine. We shall end that. Uh, that Lieutenant Colonel's really obsessed with his family. So I feel like that might come into play somehow. The oh. Lieutenant Colonel with his wife and kid. Oh, gushing over the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already saw that in episode one where they were invited over. And now this... <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Hope nothing bad will happen to them. Ever since episode four, you never know, right? Oh, yeah. Obviously, the show doesn't shy away from being brutal. Yeah. Like, you saw the butcher just casually slaughtered that guard. Like, offhandedly, I was like, wow, that was... Okay. Oh, bloody. Just casually. <laughs> so the poor guard had no idea what was going on inside. He was just told to guard the facility. He had no idea there was those two guarding the uh, building on behalf of a uh, evil old lady mm. and her boss, who we, we haven't seen. We should keep saying oh, father. father. Yeah. So is that literally her dad or a... Another priest. <laughs> Another priest. <laughs> Thanks for watching the uh, this reaction. We'll see you guys for episode nine. nine. <laughs> Take care, peace out, and uh, have, have a great day. day.